DeSantis just signed legislation to support Florida veterans and their families. Uh, today, Governor Ron DeSantis signed House Bill 725 and House Bill 1329 aimed at supporting Florida's veterans and their families. These new laws will assist veterans uh, transitioning to civilian life and ensure spouses can enjoy long-term care together and expand benefits. Oh, okay. Uh, the governor stated that Florida is committed to uh, remaining the most military and veteran-friendly state in the nation. He says, we are proud to support those who have bravely served our country, and today's legislation will help ensure that veterans and their families uh, have the resources they need to successfully transition into civilian life with their loved ones by their side. Uh, it will also provide more benefits to veterans, they say, and educate future generations on the sacrifices made by service members. Uh, they say House Bill 725 broadens eligibility for veterans' long-term care facilities to include spouses or surviving spouses of qualifying veterans. Uh, the Florida Department of Veterans Affairs currently operates nine state veterans' nursing homes with a 10th under development, they say, providing skilled nursing, hospice, and adult health care. That's nice. And rehabilitation services, yeah. Uh, House Bill 1329 expands veterans' uh, benefits and programs in florida uh it designates veterans florida as the state's primary contract the contact for military transition assistance increases the board of directors from nine to 11 members and revises the veteran employee and training services program to better match uh the needs of veterans and their spouses with businesses uh and encourage entrepreneurship, prioritize grant funds for training, and assist state agencies in recurring veteran talent. And we, we, have, one, we have one of the veteran, uh, one of those nine is out off State Road 16. So oh, yeah, right, right. Right before you get to World, World Golf Village, it's on the right-hand side as, as you're headed to uh, World Golf Village up that way. So, Will this yeah, affect the, uh, the hotel veterans that, that you uh, guys... actually um, we received a grant <laughs> through this uh, through the same signing uh, not necessarily this direct bill but it was uh, we received a grant for operations of uh, veterans village for next, nice for next year for 2025 that's cool. great we got a, we got a two hundred thousand dollar grant from the state now is that oh. something that's going to be sustainable or is that something you're going to have to apply for the grant every we'll, year we'll have to we'll have to continue to apply and it has to be you know through the budget process uh the county uh also uh through the veterans council uh uh, uh gave us uh, uh money that was in their budget uh but it got shifted over to veterans village from from the county also so the county and the the state both are participating in Veterans Village. What if you're married? Can you live there? Yes. Or okay, yeah. Ooh, it's like we, singles we, only. Like. No, we, we have we have uh, three three couples that actually do live there. Nice, awesome, man, cool. Well, if you want more information on benefits and services for veterans in Florida, visit floridavets.org, or you can contact the state veteran service officer at seven two seven three one nine seven four four zero. They also have a twenty four seven support line for the National Veteran Crisis Hotline at 988, then press 1, or the Florida Veteran Support Line at 1-844-MY-FL-VET. St. John's County proclaims July 2024 as Parks and Recreations Month. 